Hello, my name is Jasmine Peralta, and I'm a public speaking professor with over 10 years of teaching experience. Welcome to the course. The purpose of this video is to acquaint you with the strategies that I plan to use to foster effective communication in our class, how we will overcome challenges to communication, and how effective communication creates a positive classroom environment for everyone. To start, let's begin with how we will foster effective communication in our class. First, I believe that effective communication starts with respect. When the members of the class respect each other and the instructor, then community can begin to develop. For me, this will start with learning your names and build from there. Second, I will communicate with clarity. This includes strategically, clearly, and logically organizing material, communicating expectations, explaining concepts, giving examples and feedback, asking questions and responding to students' inquiries. Clarity is an important teacher communication behavior. Third, I will be honest with you and expect the same from you. Honesty doesn't mean that we forget about compassion. Being honest with compassion is key. I know that we will experience challenges as we move through the semester. These challenges could be related to differences of opinion on a grade or different personalities. There are three universal pieces of advice for having a productive disagreement. First, articulate. Understand and be able to clearly express what the clash is about. Second, empathize. Consider the other person's point of view. And finally, have courage. An honest conversation that recognizes your different perspectives will propel you both forward. When we have challenges, which I'm sure we will, I will make every effort to come directly to you. It's important to work out our disagreement privately and with this respect, and I hope you will do the same with me. Interpersonal conflict is inevitable. When conflict arises between myself and a student or between several students, first, I believe active listening is critical. Listening to understand is a good way to empathize with the other party and try to understand their point of view. This ties back to the previous strategies. Second, speaking in haste often adds fuel to the fire, but thinking before speaking can help de-escalate conflict. I intend to pause, breathe, and strive to show compassion and respect with my response. Active listening and thinking before speaking are two ways to de-escalate interpersonal conflict. Effective communication is key to both your success as a student and it creates a positive classroom environment. My goal is to motivate you, make you feel good about yourself and your abilities, promote your enjoyment of the learning process, and create positive attitudes about the class and the subject matter. Public speaking is a valuable skill. When I build you up and communicate effectively with you, you will feel more supported and be able to be more successful in the class. Together, we can have a successful course.